All right, real quickly, I just wanted to give a, you guys a little quick tour of um, the assessment area here, this little chunk of the floodplain. So here we are, uh, just inside the levee. So the Cayugas Creek levee is right here. Cayugas, let me step this right here. So the Cayugas Creek levee is right here. <clears throat> uh, we have this um, area here, which is basically the height of the uppermost bench of the, the main channel. So this, this elevation is pretty much what it would have been um, historically, pretty close. This area is obviously dominated by a, a shrubland. A lot of these are upland plants, and so we have mostly um, uh, facultative wetland plants here in this floodplain. So we don't have many, if it, at least I would maybe go so far as to say we don't have any obligate wetland uh, species here. This is an area heavily impacted by the 2013 Springs Fire, essentially everything burned, um, and is an area that has a lot of passive recreation. So a lot of hikers, a lot of birders, uh, bikers, horse riders, things of that nature. While we have a high degree of natives, like our mule fat here, um, like our coyote bush, we also have a good amount of non-natives, uh, such as right here, we're looking in this sea of Arundo, Arundo donax, this invasive grass that's very much looks like bamboo, um, uh, hugely problematic for our riparian and wetland communities across California, but particularly in coastal Southern California. And so as you can see, this is a pretty, um, a pretty uh, well-vegetated area. In our CRAM assessments, we do um, various things looking at layering, so three-dimensional layering, uh, uh, vertical layering, as well as horizontal dispersion, as well as the abundance of uh, non-native uh, species. And so... Uh, so you can get a sense of what this community is like here. So I'll put this guy right here for a second, give you a second to just stare around at this cool um, uh, matrix. So a lot of rabbits here, a lot of bobcats, a lot of um, bird species in the area, and in general, a, a relatively nice floodplain. It would be even nicer if we had more direct connectivity with the with the main channel, but uh, still a relatively um, well-functioning area right now. It could be even better functioning with a little bit of manage, a little bit of active management in terms of restoring hydrological connectivity here in Camrio Regional Park.